You know, there are a lot of great tutorials online that explain how to erase all of your data on your old phone before you move completely over to your new phone. But all of them, at least the ones that I've seen, forget this very one important step that you need to take. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. My name's Josh. This is All Things Secured, a channel dedicated to helping you stay private and secure, whether you're on one of your devices, your computer, or just browsing the internet. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want more of these kind of tips and tricks. All right, let's go ahead and dive into your phone and show you exactly which setting that most people are forgetting about. Okay, you see here, this is my old phone and this is my new phone. Apple does an amazing job of making you feel like they've copied everything over from the old phone to the new phone so that it's an exact replica of your old phone. The problem is it's not, they haven't done everything. And that's a problem because when you're going through that process, they want you to erase your old phone and they prompt you to do so. So what are the things that haven't been copied over. Well, let's look at my Google Authenticator app. My Google Authenticator app has all of my codes in it. And if you go into the Google Authenticator app for my new phone, it doesn't have any of the codes. So if you were to have erased your old phone and then tried to get into Google or one of your other investment accounts or into Twitter, and you didn't have access to these codes, you would lose access to those accounts unless you had a backup two-factor authentication set up, which I recommend you do, but a lot of people don't. And these are the emails I get day in and day out from people who've been locked out of their accounts, losing lots of money because they forgot got to go in and make sure that all of their codes had been transferred. So I've already done a video on this, but I'll show you very quickly. If I wanted to transfer these over, it's not that hard for Google Authenticator. I can go in, I can create a QR code that I can then scan with this phone. Let's get started, scan this QR code. And now all of these accounts have been imported over and I can make sure that I, I can remove the accounts now from this one if I wanted to. But now I have all of the same codes on both of the devices and, and I can log into those accounts. Those are not automatically transferred when you clone your phone from the old one to the new one. And you might want to go through and make sure that you do the same for all of the different authenticator apps. So let's say I'm looking at this device. I've got, Microsoft Authenticator, I've got Google Authenticator, I've got Yubico Authenticator, and I have Authy. Now, some of these might have backups, but they might not. And going in and making sure that I have copied all of these, sometimes it might even require me to go in manually and make sure that I add a new device in my security settings for an account. So if I'm going into Twitter, right? Sometimes let's say I'd have to log into Twitter, use this code, and then set up a new device not for Google Authenticator, but let's say for Microsoft Authenticator or Authy or Yubico Authenticator because it has been uh, attached to that particular device. So before you do anything else, I would make sure that you have brought over all of your 2FA keys if that is something that you use. And then once you've done that, now you can go in and um, Apple's going to show you how you can do step-by-step -step instructions to prepare this iPhone to be sold. So you can go, I'll link to another video that'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to erase everything on your iPhone, or you can just press get started and allow Apple to walk you through all of this stuff on itself, getting rid of all the things on your Apple wallet, uh, removing this phone from find my uh, devices, uh, getting rid of all your apps and data, signing out of your Apple ID. Apple will walk you step-by-step -step through this whole Whole process if you want them to or you can just go through this video that you see here that will um, just go step by step through it as well thanks for watching if this was helpful give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below